angles dear children till the 10th standard you did sin theta at 0 degree at 30 degree at 45 degree at uh, 60 degree and at 90 degree only okay right now we strongly need its value not sin theta even cos theta is also important if you know sin or cos theta you can calculate angle of any trigonometric ratio in sin theta dear children at 0 degree it will be 0 at 30 degree it is half at 45 degree it is 1 by root 2 at 60 degree it is root 3 by 2 and at 90 degree it will be 1 i think everybody is already aware about it yes children yes sir Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Now, yes, sir. for cos theta, it will be different. Zero degree, thirty degree, forty-five degree, sixty degree, and ninety degree. Yes, children. At zero degree, cos is one. At thirty degree, its value is root three by two. Just reverse of this. Okay. Forty-five degree, that is same, one by root two. At sixty degree, that is one by two. 90 degree it will be zero this is very very important you should remember all these two along with that you can remember tan theta secant theta cosecant theta according to requirement suppose that i need tan 45 degree no need to remember the table there girls be in time okay from tomorrow i will not admit anybody after 6 or 5 or 6 minutes All right, dear children. If you want to calculate tan 45 degree, formula yesterday we did sine theta upon cos theta. That means sine 45 degree upon cos 45 degree. Just see here, what is sine 45 degree, dear children? That is one by root two. And what is cos 45 degree? That is also one by root two. Cancel out. That will be one. So remember one. this formula. Tan 45 degree is how much? That will be one. One. There is no need to remember earlier all this formula. Only sine theta you remember in all values. Rest of the parameter you can immediately solve according to requirement. Okay, beta. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. In physics, we need one more formula. Tan 60 degree sometime frequently asked. Tan 60 degree means sine 60 degree upon cos 60 degree. Okay. Sine 60 degree root 3 by 2 and cos 60 degree is 1 by 2. 2 2 will cancel out. That will be root 3. You should remember this also, as well as tan 30 degree. Tan 30 degree you need to do it. I'll give you the chance. Please in 30 second tell me the answer. Tan 30 degree. So 1 upon 1 by root 3. 1 upon 1 by root 3. That's good. So these things are already so in mind. Yes, children. Yes, sir. These ratios are already yes, defined in tenth standard. Now, if it is coming sine 120 degree, sine 300 degree, sine 270 degree, sine 350 degree, how would you calculate? That we are learning today. Okay. So that setup in uh, mathematics is called quadrant system. So let's see how to deal with the quadrant system. I'll write simply Q system. Q means quadrant. In quadrant system, dear children, we have four quadrant at least. In one rotation, one rotation means 360 degree. Okay, so if you are dealing with this one, this is theta is equal to zero degree here. Here theta is 90 degree because this is 90 degrees angle, and now that will be 90 plus 90, 180 degree. Here 90 plus 180 that is 270 degree. 270 plus 90 that will be 360 degree. Finally in one round. Okay, beta. Yes, sir. Now you have to learn the little uh, trick so that you can remember every time this formula. Okay, dear children. This is called first quadrant and this is called second quadrant. This is called third quadrant, and this is called fourth quadrant. 
So to remember the quadrant system, we need four quadrant at least, one, two, or three. First quadrant means beta 90 minus whatever angle you have, let that angle is theta. If angle is 90 minus theta, it must lie in uh, first quadrant. If it is 90 plus theta, you are in second quadrant. If it is 180 minus theta, you are in second quadrant. If it is 180 plus theta, where do you are? Third or fourth? Yes, children. Third. That is in third, yes. The third. Third. 270 minus theta, you are in third. Fourth, 270 plus theta, either you can say 360 minus theta. It's okay. Try yes, to remember sir. it. This is yes, only sir. for the one rotation, one revolution, okay? There may be thousands of revolution. Whenever it is required, that time I, I will tell you. But right now, if you remember for the one revolution, you can apply this concept for any revolution. All right? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. Yes, sir. You have to remember a rhythmic method here. So that is all What is this? What is this? All silly tomcats. Okay, all means they have first quadrant and silly means second quadrant. Tom means third quadrant or cat means fourth quadrant. Why? This way you can remember. All means all positive in first quadrant. S means sign here. Reciprocal of sine is cosecant. These two are positive in second quadrant. Third is T. T means 10. Opposite of 10 is cot. These two are positive in third quadrant. Rest of the trigonometric ratio are negative. In fourth quadrant, we have C. C means cos. Reciprocal of cos is secant. So cos, cos and secant are positive. Rest of the trigonometric ratios are negative. Rest means 6. Six trigonometric ratios are negative. Okay, Vita? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You should remember. Yes, sir. Yes. So, let me tell you here, according to quadrant system. I'll redraw another diagram so that I can do there also. Like this. This is first quadrant system. In first quadrant system, we have all trigonometric ratio positive. All trigonometric ratio positive. All means all six. Sin, cos, tan, cot, secant, cosecant. All are positive. There are six trigonometric ratio, dear children. In first quadrant, all are positive. Remember this thing. 0 degree, 90 degree, 180, 270 and 360 degree. Okay. So I can write here in second, according to the that trick, all silly tomcats. Silly means sine and cosecant. These are positive in second quadrant. Rest of the trigonometric ratio 10, cot, secant, cosecant. Uh, sorry, cos 10, cot, secant. These are negative. Are you getting? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. We have all silly Tom. Tom means 10 and cot. Both are positive. Rest of the trigonometric ratios are negative here. And finally, we have cos and secant. These are positive. Rest of the trigonometric ratios are negative. Please remember it, okay? I'll give you one minute. Try to remember this trick in all quadrants. In which quadrant, what is positive, what is negative. That is very important for us.
Kan? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, I hope everybody have remembered it. Yes, now, sir. Now, one more thing you have to remember before solving the problem. I am putting important note here, dear children. First note is at when rotation is taking place at uh, 90 degree or 270 degree, I can say this is called horizontal line. We have two lines here. Okay, so this is called horizontal line. X axis, you can see. And this is called vertical line. You can see Y axis. When rotation is taking place along vertical line. Vertical line means angle is 90 degree and 270 degree. Okay. Then trigonometric ratio will change. How? Sin theta will be converted into cos theta and cos theta is converted into sin theta. Tan theta is converted into cor theta and cor theta is converted into tan theta. Secant theta is converted into cosecant theta and cosecant theta is converted into secant theta. Okay, this will happen when rotation is taking place with reference to vertical line, I mean to say 90 degree or 270 degree like this. When you have sine 90 plus theta, in which quadrant it is lying dear children? Sine 90 plus theta. Yes. Second. Second. Yeah, second. 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 This we are talking about reference angle, 90 degree or 270. I told you if reference angle is 90 degree or 270, then sine is converted into cos. Cos. This angle cos. is only for the reference, no need to carry forward. You have to carry forward this angle only. Okay, measured angle. That is cos theta. What is the value of sine 90 plus theta? That is cos theta. Got it or not? Yes, sir. Yes, okay. sir. I will provide you one yes, example so that you can understand it better. All right. Let's see. Note down it, please, first. Done? Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm sir. putting here example sine 120 degree. I want to write the value of sine 120 degree. First, use the common sense, divide sine 120 degrees so that we need reference angle 90, 270, 180, whatever, out of 4. Because we have 0 degree, 90 degree, 180 degree, 270 degree, 360 degree, all these are reference angles. According to that, you have to adjust. Can I adjust by this way, sine 90 plus 30? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Either we can do sine... Yes, 180 minus 60, can we do by this way? Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. Can do, na? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. We have the two options. In both the options, you'll get the same answer. How? Let's see. Here we have the sign 90 plus 30. 90 plus 30. 30 is here. Measured angle, 90 is reference angle, okay? 90 plus theta, whatever angle is coming, 90 plus, that is known as theta according to the concept. 90 plus theta, where it is lying? Second or first quadrant? Second. 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 Yeah, this is in second quadrant. In second quadrant, what about the sign? Positive or negative? Positive. Positive. At 90 degree, will it change? Yes, sir. In what? Yes, sir. It will change in? It will be cos theta. Cos yeah, it is cos theta. In place of theta, we have? Cos. 
30 what is cos 30 degree root 3 by 2 root 3 by 3 what, what is the value of sin 120 degree that is root 3 by 2 this is the technique dear children you need to follow it and adopt it to solve various problems first you analyze it after that i will tell you the same result through other way we can we can do also 180 minus 60 we have two possibility to break 120 degree maybe 90 Plus thirty or one eighty minus sixty. All right, dear children. Yes, sir. So, okay. Yes. Let Let me see the second one. One eighty minus theta. Where it is lying? This is reference angle. Second quadrant. Yeah, that is also second quadrant. But one more note you have to adopt here. Just parallel. Pause. Okay, wait, wait. You need one more note here. Note two. If reference angle one eighty degree and three uh, sixty degree. If reference angle is 180 degree or 360 degree, that is vertical line. Sorry, that is not vertical, horizontal line. With reference to horizontal line, then ratio will not change. like if you have sin it will be sin if you have cos it will be cos like this if it is 10 then it is 10 so dear children i think you are getting this if rotation is taking place with reference to 90 or 270 i mean to say along vertical line then trigonometric ratio will change its counterpart okay but if suppose that reference angle rotation angle with reference to 180 degree or 360 along the horizontal line then there is no change in the trigonometric ratio okay beta yes, yes sir please yes, write yes, and sir. remember it write and remember it quickly Yes, yes, sir. Sir. yes, sir. Okay. yes, sir. Now you are solving this. Yes, beta. It it is lying in second quadrant. Okay, in second quadrant, sign is positive. We can write positive here. Will it change at one eighty degree? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. It will remain sign. No, sir. No, sir. And theta is sixty degree. Sixty. So sign sixty is what? Root three by two. Root three by two. Are, are you getting the same answer? Yes, sir. Please. There should be same yes, answer. Other way, yes, how, how can it be possible? There are two yes, answers are the same. Okay. But we have two ways to deal with the same problem. That's up to you. Which way is striking in your mind on spot? That depends upon you. Okay, beta. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Should, yes, sir. I should I give one more problem here? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, everybody yes, has sir. to try for cos 120 degree. This is also important for physics. Standard result you need to remember. Whatever result you are uh, you are getting, that you should remember forever. Right. Try according to your technique or trick, whatever you are learning here. I will ask after one minute. Sir, is it cos thirty degree is equal to one by two? Minus one by two. Minus one by two. Minus one by two. I have an option. One by two. Minus one by two. Zero. B option is root three by two. 
sir it is minus 1 by 2 so minus 1 by 2 very nice one minus 1 by who told minus 1 by 2 tell your name please sir gauri brakta gauri brakta tell how will you get it how will you get minus 1 by 2 can you explain any other yes sir okay, yes sir okay yes sir yes sir so we can do it through two ways one is by addition and one by subtraction so it is cos 120 degree so cos i have done first through addition that is 90 degree plus 30 degree okay, okay. since it's 90 degree so it will change into minus sin 30 degree which is equal First to minus 1 by 2 first of all in this quadrant two. it is lying so it's lying exactly. in the second quadrant in second quadrant what about the cos positive or negative sir so cos will be negative, negative. yes why yes. is at 90 degree this is the reference line reference angle yes sir so it will cos change into sin into sin sin 30 degree and now we carry forward 30 degree here Sine thirty yes, degrees one by two minus you sine you can carry it out by this way. Its value will be minus one by two. Everybody have got it? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. Okay. Yes, by sir. the other way also you can do. All right, but I am doing by this way. Other way you can practice by yourself. All right, dear children. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's see sine one eighty degree. How will you do this? We can do. Sin ninety plus ninety. Otherwise, we can do sin one eighty plus zero degree. That's up to you. Okay, sin one eighty plus zero. You can write by this way. If we if if you are solving sin one eighty plus zero, sin one eighty plus zero. It means it is in second quadrant. In second, sin is positive and. 180 degree it will not change. Zero degree will carry forward. Sine zero is zero. So what is the value of sine 180 degree, dear children? That is zero. Even you can do here also. Sine 90 plus theta lying in second quadrant. Second sine is positive at 90 degree. It will be cos 90. What is cos 90? That is also zero. You have the various way to deal with the same problem, but you have to remember it. The I am just solving the standard result, which are Uh, mostly used in the physics okay but you can solve any question right now we have solved 180 degree sin 180 degree okay question for you solve cos 180 degree how much it is coming cos 180 degree So minus one. Very good. What's your name? So Gunseet. Gunseet. Very good. By the same manner, you can do it. Remember, dear children, cos 180 degree is minus one and sine 180 degree is zero. Okay. By the same, you can do any one. Uh, just like I'm taking here, sine 210 degree. Try to solve it. Sin 210 degree. Sir, is it minus one by two? Very good. What's your name? Sir, Nivriti. Nivriti. That's good. Very nice. Good. Okay, dear children, you have the various way to deal with the same problem. Uh, I'll take care of sine three hundred degree. Let's see how to deal with it. Sine three hundred degree is sine two seventy plus thirty degree. 
Yes, children, it lies in third quadrant. That's why in third quadrant, sign is negative. At 270 degree, it will be converted into cos. And this angle you can do, that is cos 30 degree minus cos 30 degree root 3 by 2. By this way, you can solve sine 300 degree. Whatever, whatever angle is coming, you can break out by this way and get it. Okay. Yes, Veta? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, one more thing you need to remember here. Even you can remember the graph whenever it is required. You can remember the graph of sine or cos. I can write here graph of sine theta and even cos theta. First of all, I want to draw the graph for sine theta. This will help you some time to get the result quickly. How? Let's see. Here I am taking sine. Here I am taking theta. Okay. Here I am taking 90 degree. Here I am taking 0 degree. Let this is 180 degree. This is 270 degree. This is uh, 360 degree. Even you can add 90, 90, you can go, I mean to say, even for the higher values. Now, at 0 degree, what is the value of sine? Anybody can tell? What is sine 0? 0. So, zero. zero. This is plus 1 and this is minus 1. Dear children, maximum value of sine is plus 1 and minimum value is minus 1. Okay, it is 0. At 90 degree, what about its value? 90 degree. 1. 1. 1. Yes, one. Value is at 180 degree? 0. It's 0. Okay. At 270 degree? Sir, minus 1. That will be minus 1. At 360 degree, it is 0 again. Zero. Okay, when you join all these, you will get the graph like this. Even I am putting 360 degree here. Okay? So this is the sine graph, dear children. For future, you can remember it directly by this way. These are the points where it is intersecting x-axis. Here, its value is 0. And these are the points where value of sine is plus 1. And these are the points where value of sine is minus 1. Just like in future, you can directly remember. At 0 degree, it is 0. At 90 degree, it is 1. At 180 degree, it is 0. At 270 degree, it is minus 1. At 360 degree, it is 0. 360 plus 90, how much? 360 plus 90. Yes, children. 450. 450. At 450 degree, its value is 1. Directly you can do. 450 plus 90. 540. 540. At 540, its value is 0. Can I do it for also for the higher values? Yes. So this graph helps you immediately to tell. What should the reading of 0 degree, 90 degree, 270 degree, 180 degree, 440 degree, 540 degree, all of these. Okay, Vita? Yes, sir. Yes, everybody? Yes, sir. By yes, the sir. same way, you can do yes, cos graph. I'll do the cos graph here. Let's see the cos graph, dear children. Cos graph, I'm doing here. By this way. And it is 0 here, 90 degree, 180, 270, and 360. What is the value of cos 0? 1. 1. 1. This is minus 1. Maximum value of cos is, dear children, 1 or minus 1. Uh, I mean to say cos lie between 1 or minus 1. This is theta. Okay. And it is 1. Its graph is like this. Because at 0 degree its value is 1, at 90 degree its value is 0. At 180 degree its value is minus 1. At 270 degree its value is 0. At 360 degree it is plus 1. So on. You can do by this way. Okay, children? These graphs are also helpful throughout the physics. Also helpful in mathematics or those who are mathematics student. They can remember it immediately. What should the value of 90 degree, 180 degree, 270 degree, 360 degree? Through the graph without drawing any other thing. Okay, the best technique, dear children, which I have told you today, that is quadrant system. 
I hope everybody got it. And you have to revise it for tomorrow.